Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how Nicki Minaj's father was killed on a hit and run accident. Before we start I want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Let's get right into it. A 70 year old Long Island man was arrested Wednesday for the hit and run crash that killed Nicki Minaj's dad and hid his car under a tarpaulin after asking the dying victim if he was okay, officials said. Charles Polvich surrendered to police early Wednesday and was charged with leaving the scene of an accident and tampering with evidence for the February 12th death of Robert Mirage. Mirage, 64, was walking in the street on Roslyn Road near his Mineola home while Polvich allegedly struck him near Raff Avenue about 6.15pm on February 12th. He was bad. He was really bad. One man who witnessed the aftermath of the crash said off Mirage. I looked through the window. He didn't look good, said the Mineola resident, who wished not to be named. He must have had a down vest. The feathers were all over the street. Polvich got out of his white 1992 Volvo station wagon, stood over Mirage, asked him if he was okay, then jumped back into his vehicle and drove off, leaving the hip-hop star's father dying in the street. When he reached his home, not far from the crash scene, Polvich hid his car in his garage and covered the vehicle with a tarp. Mirage was hospitalised and died later that day. Nassau County Police said Mirage was either walking home or to a local store. He was in the street because the sidewalks were covered in snow, investigators believe. Polvich was driving north on Roslyn Road when he struck Mirage, who was walking in the same direction, according to prosecutors. He was absolutely aware of what happened, Nassau County Detective Lieutenant Steve Fitzpatrick said at a press conference on Wednesday. He got out of the car and looked at the deceased. He made the conscious decision to leave. Polvich drove home, avoiding intersections where he knew there would be cameras, court papers stated. Polvich was held with a $250,000 bond during a brief arraignment in Nassau County Criminal Court on Wednesday and is due back in court on Friday. Mirage's superstar daughter, who was born Anika Mirage, is known for hip-hop hits such as Superbass and Starships. She has not publicly commented on his death, but has spoken out about fraught relationships with her father over the years. My father was abusive, she said in a 2012 Nightline appearance, adding that he abused drugs and alcohol. We were afraid for my mother's life because whenever he would have a really bad outburst, he would threaten to kill her. In a Rolling Stone interview in 2010, Minaj said that she would pray that God would make her rich so she could take care of her mother. I always felt like if I took care of my mother, my mother wouldn't have to stay with my father and he was the one at that time that was bringing us pain. We didn't want him around at all, and so I always felt like being rich would cure everything, and that was always what drove me, she added. Minaj later told the New York Times he didn't physically abuse her, but he would always yell and curse at her and her mother. It made me feel it was the way to interact, because that's how I saw him interacting, she told the papers in 2015. Minaj, aged 38, became a parent herself in September when she gave birth to a baby boy. The rapper hasn't revealed the baby's name, although her fans have nicknamed the infant Simba. Minaj also calls her baby with husband Kenneth Petty, Papa. Want a, a cute little fat baby? Oh, I mean not now. Yeah. What's your name? Langa. Langa? Yeah. Oh, give me a hug. Nice to meet you. She's the best. How old are you? This is our nine. Chat. Nine years old. All right, I'm gonna leave. Becoming a mum is by far the most fulfilling job I've ever taken on, Nicki Minaj wrote on Instagram in January, as she released the first image of the three-month-old infant, sending love to all the superhero mothers out there. Residents of Mineola were stunned that the hip-hop superstar's father had settled in the village. How is Nicki Minaj's father walking over here? Asked resident Americo Marquez, who lives across the street from the crash scene. You know, He's supposed to be a rich guy. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another amazing video from us. If you learned something from today's video, feel free to drop it in the comments section and let us know that this is the type of content you want to see. Until next time.